In all our ancient DNA paper reviews so far, we have only covered the humans that migrated out of Africa. So it is more than time to review a paper on the prehistoric migration patterns of Africa itself. The paper Reconstructing Prehistoric African Population Structure in Cell does just that. Africa is more genetically diverse than any other part of the world. Today, some of the earliest branching African lineages are present only in populations with relatively small sizes, such as the Southern African Khoisan, Central African Rainforest Hunter-Gatherers and Hadza of Tanzania. Bantu-speaking agriculturalists originating in Western Africa are thought to have brought farming to Eastern Africa by 2000 years ago and to Southern Africa by 1500 years ago. Earlier migrations, which brought ancestry related to ancient Near East, brought herding to Eastern Africa by 4000 years ago and to Southern Africa by 2000 years ago. In this paper, they reconstruct the African population structure prior to the spread of food production, with the help of genome-wide data from 15 ancient sub-Saharan Africans. They constructed a model where ancient and present-day African populations trace their ancestry to a set of nine ancestral populations. As a proxy for these populations, three different ancient Near Eastern populations and six African populations were used that harbor substantial ancestry related to major lineages present in Africa today. The Mende from Sierra Leone are used in this model to represent the component of ancestry that exists in high proportions in Western African populations. The ancient Southern African genomes are used to represent the ancestry of Southern Africa before agriculture. The ancient Ethiopian individual is used to represent the Northeastern African ancestry before agriculture. The Mbuti are used to represent Central African rainforest hunter-gatherer ancestry. The ancient individual from Tanzania is used to represent an early pastoralist lineage from Eastern Africa. And the Dinka from Sudan are used to represent distinctive ancestry found in Niloitic speakers today. The ancient Near Eastern populations were modeled by ancient DNA from individuals from Anatolia, the Levant and Iran. They find an ancient clan of southern and eastern African hunter-gatherers and that ancestry closely related to the ancient southern Africans was present much further north and east in the past than it is today. The Hadza group in Tanzania can be modeled as deriving all their ancestry from a lineage related to ancient eastern Africans such as the ancient Ethiopian individual. However, this lineage appears to have contributed little ancestry to present-day Bantu speakers in Eastern Africa, who instead traced their ancestry to a lineage related to present-day Western Africans, with additional components related to Niloitic speaking Dinka and to the ancient Tanzanian pastoralist. Western Eurasian related ancestry is pervasive in Eastern Africa today, and the timing of this admixture has been estimated to 3,000 years ago. While these findings show that a Levant Neolithic-related population made a critical contribution to the ancestry of present-day Eastern Africans, present-day Cushitic speakers such as the Somali cannot be fit simply as having ancient Tanzanian pastoralist ancestry. The best fitting model for the Somali is a mixture of ancient Tanzanian pastoralist, Dinka related and Iranian Neolithic related ancestry. This suggests that ancestry related to the Iranian Neolithic appeared in Eastern Africa after the earlier gene flow related to Levant Neolithic populations. A scenario that is made more plausible by the genetic evidence of admixture of Iranian Neolithic related ancestry throughout the Levant by the time of the Bronze Age and in ancient Egypt by the Iron Age. Previous studies have suggested that the primary ancestry in Khoisan is from a lineage 
that separated from all other lineages represented in modern humans today before the latter separated from each other. But the researchers of this paper proposes a couple of alternative different models. The first proposes that present-day Western Africans harbor ancestry from a basal African lineage that contributed more to the Mende than it did to the Yoruba, with the other source of Western African ancestry being related to Eastern Africans and non-Africans. The proposed model assumes that long-range and long-standing gene flow has connected Southern and Eastern Africa to some groups in Western Africa, the ancestors of the Yoruba, to a greater extent than to other groups in Western Africa, for example the Mende. The possible basal Western African population lineage would represent the earliest known divergence of modern human lineages that contributed a major proportion of the ancestry to present-day humans. Such a lineage must have separated before the divergence of Khoisan ancestors, which is estimated to have begun on the order of 200 to 300,000 years ago. The model requires ancestry related to Eastern Africans and the out of Africa population expanding into West Africa and mixing there with more basal lineages. The researchers end by noting that much of their analysis is based on modern population samples and that the ancient DNA is limited. They also note that ancient DNA studies with larger sample sizes and covering a broader chronological and geographic range have the potential to make major progress in improving our understanding of African prehistory. That is all for today, my friends. Thank you for listening. Till next time, I wish you all the best.